Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video we are going to create the reloading system. So yeah, let's get started. First, let's go to the weapon struct. Add a variable. It should be reload speed, and the type should be float. Okay. Now let's go back to uh, let's go to the weapon weapon data table. Reload speed should be one, for example, for this weapon. Okay. Now let's go here and let's go to the set weapon stats. And from here, the reload speed, we should set it. Actually, I will make this a little bit cleaner. So I will add a sequence node to here, like this. And now I will set this to here and we can start a new row so we can see better what is happening. Okay, now we have to connect this to here. Okay. And I will also remove the weapon data text from the start. Okay, reload speed. And yeah, all good now. Compile and save. Now let's go to the. We should. We need to add a input key, project settings, input, action mappings, call it reload, and I will add map it to a R key. Okay, let's close this. Now we want to go here and get the reload, re, reload an event, and from here we want to. Uh, we want to um, actually we have to create a new uh, custom event again. Custom event. And it should be called reloading or something like that. I don't know why I say it that way, but yeah. And now let's go back here. Uh, on the rest, we have to first we have to check um, at a branch. Uh, we have to check if we can reload, and if we can, we have to reloading call this. Okay. Now we have to create a new function called can reload like this, and from here we have to. Uh, Get ammo clip ammo and eh, no, all get ammo ammo total current this one and if this is creator 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 then zero then we have to and boolean like this and we also want to check if the if the ammo clip current is less Let's turn the ammo clip max. If it is less than that, and this is this, then we have to uh, add a output here. Connect this to here. This should be called uh, return return value or something like that. Okay, now we can actually make this a uh, per pure from here. Okay, now we can close this and go to here. Now we can get the can reload and connect it to here. And if we can reload, then it will start reloading. And now we have to go here, reloading. We want to add a timeline. And let's play it from the start. Compile and save. Let's call it a reload enim el. Now I will open it. I will make the length one second. Add a load track. Now I will add a. And now we have to add a one key to here. And 
one key to here and time let's make it for example point one and let's make this like one now let's add another this should be like point five and one and one more point uh, one and time point nine and now we want to add one more and this should be times one and when you zero we want to make these yeah like this uh, and actually no 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 we don't want we want to add it here okay and now we want to add a new track uh, add event track and we want to add event one event to a time point five and value one to here okay compile and save and now we can close this and actually maybe we would want to uh, rename, rename this to a ammo up up it for example so we can see it better it has a pin ammo update here okay and yeah we also want to add a get the reload animation timeline get the play rate okay like this connect it to a on the start and to here we want to get the and now we want to connect the reload reload speed to here so if it's one it one second and if it's two it's 0.5 seconds we can you can also do it like this you can get the uh, divide connect this to here this to here and add one here so it divides if and you can change this name to reload time so if it's you put one here then it should be one if you put two it divides it a uh, one by two so the play speed is uh, 0.5 and uh, uh, time that it takes to play is two seconds so yeah but we will now do it this way or I will do at least okay so yeah and now we want to get from the update and set relative location uh, weapon mesh like this and now we want to split this and the uh, Oh, set re relative rotation. I meant okay. And from the update, we want to split this, and now we want to lerp from the x. Uh, a should be zero, and this should be ninety, and this should be added here. And now we also want to, and now we also want to. Uh, get from the ammo update branch to here like this and now we want to get the current ammo uh, total uh, we want to check if it's greater than um, ammo clip max minus ammo clip current I connect this to here and now we also want to ammo ammo total current we want to minus this and we also want to get this to there like this and from the true we want to we want to ammo total current set true connect from here and also get the uh, clip max ammo Cur ammo clip current like this and we want to connect this okay and after this, now we want to ammo clip current set 
from there. And now we want to get those mm, ammo clip current. Then we have to add um, uh, ammo total current there, and then uh, ammo total current. Set it to zero afterwards. Okay. Okay. Let's try if it works. Oh, I did something wrong. I think it's the I connected this to a X. I think it should be on the Y. It's still not working. Okay. Let's try the set. remember how this was okay I will have to check it oh now I actually remember okay so yeah I actually had to connect this to AX but this new rotation jet should be um, we have to go to set weapon stats and from the weapon data rotation over here promoted to a variable weapon data rotation it can be called that way, I don't care. And now we can get into here, read it, and get the, the uh, set from it. Now it should work. Okay. Okay. Now we have to do one little adjustment to this. Okay. Now we just have to add a variable called. Uh, Variable uh, reloading or reload or is reloading maybe maybe that way okay I will move it close to the is areas <coughs> and here if we can reload this okay and now I think we also have to call the stop firing action so it doesn't create any glitches okay this reloading and when the reloading is complete I think here we have to set the is reloading false again like this okay now we have to go to the ADS we can um, to here in action ADS. We have to add a add a branch here and get the is reloading. Not oh, it's actually means not boolean. And connect it to here. So if we are not reloading, we can ADS. And then do the shoot also, input action fire. Uh -huh. If the ammo is greater than zero, and we are not reloading, and boolean, connect this, let's move this a little bit further away. And now let's connect this to here. Now it should work. Let's see if I reload. Oh, if I shoot, I reload. Let's see. Okay. If I uh, reload, I cannot shoot. Okay. I can shoot after that I stopped reloading. Okay. And if I reload, I cannot ADS. Okay. I cannot ADS. Okay. Now it should work. So yeah, I think this was all for this video and hope you enjoyed. If you did, please uh, subscribe for more and yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.